Hey man, I'm ready, man. You ready? Man? All right. All right, yeah. Skip. That podcast, we back, baby. You know what time it is? Yeah, late night session. Look, uh, Charleston White said some things, and we gonna get into it real quick, and we gonna watch it off of Brandon Tatum. Shout out to Brandon Tatum. You know, we gonna watch it off his channel, and uh, we gonna react to it. So we be back. Who raised you? Oh my god, this is so hard. Oh my god. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't, can't understand it neither. Oh, yeah, man, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. You know what it is. Look, man, uh, Brandon Tatum. I couldn't find a clip by itself, so I'm going to have to use your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Brandon Tatum. Although we disagree on a lot of things, he is a great movement for the black community. Thank you very much. So, look, let's get it, and let's see what Charleston White has to say. And um, don't be triggered. Do you disagree with anything Charleston say? Anything? Wrote a clip. See this. See this is the thing, Charleston. Like I, I think everything that you're saying. And Cam Newton is the guy that's interviewing him. If you don't know who Cam Newton is, he lost the Super Bowl uh, when he didn't get that fumble against the Broncos. But no, nah, I'm just I'm joking. A, a tremendous football player. One of the greatest. I, I think he's one of the greatest athletes to ever play quarterback. But he's doing the interviews right now. He, he got his little podcast set up where he's doing this. I hate the way he dressed. He annoys the living daylights out of me. But regardless of that, I have respect for him. It has some truth to it. It's just the, the delivery. You oh. standing, there's no denying that you're standing for and by your people. Well, here's the thing. Uh, when you're addressing evil, you can't worry about the delivery. When you're looking at the conditions of our community, you can't worry about the evil when you got kids that kill kids and say, we smoking on Tuca. See, they weren't worried about the delivery when these kids in Chicago were talking about smoking on Tuca. Mm -hmm. They weren't worried about the delivery. I ain't got no manners for no shit. I'm going to put my thumb in her butt. The delivery? Mm. I like girls kissing girls where I'm from. And that's on the radio. Girls on girls. That's, they, that's promoting lesbianism to my daughter as we drive mm. to school. This song they playing with Drake. Y'all worried mm. about the delivery? These niggas talking about killing each other. And they really, that nigga thug said, I shot at your mama. You don't mention me no more. He really shot that nigga mama. And y'all worried about my delivery? These niggas are confessing to murders on songs. And y'all worried about my delivery? <laughs> the conditions of black sucking yeah. them, talking about booty hole? Y'all worried about my delivery? Come on, don't be hypocrites, black people. Y'all can't listen to this music if y'all so caught up in my delivery. God dang. That was hard. <laughs> Still got a whole minute left. That was God hard. dang. Do anybody disagree with what Charleston said thus far? I already know the answer is no. Don't do me like that. And the way y'all snap and pop y'all to this music, the way y'all kill and drill to this music, don't trip about my delivery. Hey, yo, easy. Why you wear your pants like that? I wear my pants like that because that's easy access, baby. Easy. Why you talk like that? I talk like that to get my point across. Because when I wasn't talking like that, wearing a bow tie, y'all wasn't paying me no attention. And I was going to the Supreme Court, changing laws and legislation in this country. I was working with over 50 U.S. congressional members, from Ted Cruz to Mark Rubio, Senator John Cornyn. I was on the front page of the American Bar Association Journal. I had done a study with News 21, Walter Conkrike School of Journalism. Y'all wasn't paying attention then. So now I gave y'all what y'all want, a ignorant mother. Nigga that talk like them rappers. <laughs> now y'all listening. Now y'all paying attention, huh? I got y'all attention, checkmate. Now let me tell y'all what y'all need to hear. We fed up as a race of people since y'all so caught up into my delivery. 5% of children now are catching HIV from ages 13 to 21. What y'all worried about? 
85 percent mm-hmm. of the new chlamydia, all the new cases of teenagers. What y'all so caught up about? Only 35 percent of most kids in inner cities can read on or above their grade level. What the f- y'all talking about? These kid can't read. <laughs> Come on, my. N- God damn. <laughs> damn. The truth bomb. Ooh. Man, mm-hmm. hey, look, man. This is all I'm going to say, man. And I think that uh, people need to understand you can't get caught up. You can't be a hypocrite and get caught up in somebody the way somebody says something. Because I believe as as us as black people we get so offended by the way something is said they don't really care about the messaging in it it's like oh well why are you saying it like that it doesn't matter two plus two is four even if you say two plus fucking two is four it's still four but we get so caught up we want people to say something nice. Say it nicely. You know what I mean? And the hypocritical part about it is they don't say that to the rappers. Like, they some of these people are absolutely obsessed with rap being hardcore. They don't like rap being said nicely. But when it comes to you talking to them and it's about facts you have to say it nicely I just don't get it I just don't understand what is the obsession with us and how things need to be put to us when we know the truth we know that everything he's saying I'm not going to say it's totally accurate because I don't know. But we know that in a ballpark figure, what he's saying is absolutely true, especially when it comes to the black community. But we totally ignore it. All these kids doing stuff to each other. It's crazy to me. But it is what it is. Man. um, It's crazy because. We literally be speaking on things like this all the time, all the time, all the time. Me and you have conversations. What did we just talk about not too long ago, bro? Last week, when we were speaking on the the, uh, Slim Thug joint, what did we just talk about? Yeah. They knew, and we right. But because we ain't say it the way they want it to be said, oh, all of a sudden, oh, well, you got to, well, this and, and that. And, well, come on. Come on. Mm-hmm. Look, when it comes to the truth, there's no easy way to say it, but just saying it. That's just the way it is, you know? And regardless if you don't agree with it, It's always going to be said. It's old saying. What is done in the dark always comes to light. So you keep hiding from the truth. Sooner or later, it's going to come up. It's going to manifest itself. That's just the way it is. That's the way it is. And I don't understand. Like, he's he's absolutely right. He's absolutely right. Before we as a people can move forward we got to hold ourselves accountable too we can't we can't always keep like pointing fingers at this and that we got to hold ourselves accountable too there's a lot of things that we need to hold ourselves accountable for and what he said was absolutely correct but as usual, there's going to be people that's going to disagree. There's going to be people that's always going to disagree because that's how the world is programmed nowadays. That's how our people are programmed nowadays. Just the way it is. 
Yeah. They're gonna give you uh they're gonna give you a thousand and one reasons why they feel as if that is right. And then they're gonna try to give you a thousand and one reasons why it should be said differently. But there's no other way of saying it but just saying it. Yeah. That's it. That's right. That's right. Bro. <laughs> hey man. Shout out to Charleston White for keeping it real. In these troubled times, we need to hear stuff like this. And mm-hmm. I know he he can he 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 could do some certain things and say some certain things. And us, we too sensitive, but at the same time, we try to act like we're not. But either way, hey, it is what it is. Hey man, Sketchpad Podcast, we been. See y'all. Peace. Bye.